A grand welcome today for the president of France, Emmanuel Macron. Macron is in Washington for the first state visit of the Trump presidency. The two leaders are talking foreign policy. Meantime, as Blaine Alexander reports, the nominee for America's top diplomat faces a tough path to confirmation in the Senate. Well, hello to you from Capitol Hill. Mike Pompeo will likely face a full Senate vote later this week. Now, if he is confirmed, he will have a lot of foreign issues awaiting him. From the United States, a warm welcome to the leader of its oldest ally, French President Emmanuel Macron, marking the first official state visit of the Trump administration, setting the table for a range of discussions. Security, about trade, and a lot of multilateral issues very important for our countries and beyond. And Macron expected to lobby in favor of what President Trump calls a bad deal, the Iran nuclear deal. This as the White House defends the president's negotiations to denuclearize North Korea. The president walking back his claim that the regime has agreed to denuclearization. In fact, leader Kim Jong-un only told South Korea he's willing to discuss it. We're not going to take the North Koreans simply at their word. Like I said before, and we've said many times before, the maximum pressure campaign is going to continue until we see concrete actions. Meanwhile, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, the person who would play a key role in those foreign talks, still awaits Senate confirmation. The White House expecting rejection from the Senate Foreign Relations Committee already looking ahead to the full Senate. We do think that we're going to still get the votes when we get to the full four of the Senate. A handful of Democrats have agreed to vote for Pompeo later this week, likely handing him a narrow win. And if he is confirmed, Mike Pompeo will jump right into his new position, heading to a NATO meeting in Brussels at the end of the week. In Washington, Blaine Alexander, Local 4. And according to a political report, Senator Rand Paul said he will vote for Mike Pompeo, paving the way for the CIA director to win approval from the Senate Foreign Relations Committee and ultimately be confirmed on the Senate floor.